compost and the composting bin beard? Hmm. Seems like an odd thing to focus on, considering the wide scope of Reap What You Sow, wouldn't you say? Well, we've already covered the update, friend. Thoroughly, I might add. Also, the composting bin was done broke up until a couple days ago, so there's that to factor in. And finally, a new change has come to both the composting bin and compost itself. So you see, friends, there is always a reason for a video. Let's make some food for our plants, shall we? But first, we should probably know what we can even use within a composting bin in the first place. A composting bin requires two types of resources, broken down into two categories, wet and dry. And dry items that can be used within a composting bin can be seen here, and they are logs, grass, pine cones, and even wooden ores, for example. But I would make note of all the options you see here, as I actually believe that they are truly the only ones that we can use within the dry category. Now the wet category, on the other hand, is nowhere near as limited. For you see, wet items include darn near every type of food in the game, be it a crockpot dish or not, rot, a flower garland, even the fish food from pearl, a ham bat, and even more. But these two categories, Beard, do they really actually matter in the long run? Well, that would depend on how efficient you actually want to be in your composting. For you see, a composting bin accepts up to six items at once, be them all dry items, all wet items, or even a mix of both. And then it gets to work, folks. And when that time passes and the timer hits zero, that is when the composting bin uses two of those six items to produce one compost for us. And then it gets right back to the process of making another. Now. There is nothing to stop you from quote unquote refueling the thing in the middle of said process or from just putting in less than six items. That said, it will always need at least two from either category to actually work and the limited number of composts that it can actually make is thus three. But if you really want a composting bin to actually work, you have to strike a balance between things both wet and dry, everyone. Watch what happens when I put three wet and three dry items in one bin, six dry items in another, and then six wet items in the last. Do you notice how the balanced bin at the left there has a significantly lowered composting timer than the all dry one at the right? Yup being balanced as well as actually filling a compost bin with six items total increases its overall efficiency. So make note there. But let us briefly talk compost itself, shall we? You know, the stuff you'll actually be working towards at the end of the day. Obviously, it is one of the three key types of nutrients now in this game. And several plants, like corn, asparagus, durian, and garlic for a few examples, consume lots of it. So then, if you are indeed planting those crops, using compost on the proper farm plots is obviously very important in keeping said crops fed. That's the gist of it, at least. But Wormwood has a use for compost now as well, folks. Healing over time. New changes to Wormwood see specific types of fertilizers having different effects on them, and compost-heavy fertilizers, like you know, compost itself here, will heal for plus two health over the course of about two to four seconds. But in compost's case, that is plus two health for four ticks, which will equate to eight health overall. Not too great, but still a nice touch at the end of the day. And there you have it, everyone. At least as I understand it for now, that is. That's the composting bin and compost itself summarized quite quickly. It will either be super important to those into the new farming mechanics of Reap What You Sow, or it's gonna be something that you never think about after today. There's really no in-between, I think. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, stink it up, and I'll see ya in the next one. Bye-bye.